Good morning, lovely people. Happy weekend to everybody who's watching. Uh, today I'll be doing a couple of videos on fragrances and uh, I'll do one talk, Morning Thoughts episode uh, on fragrance basics. One recent time, one of the brothers knocked me in Facebook. I just saw his message pop up. I haven't replied to it yet, but I will. But he said, you know, brother, I just got into the game and I've been following your videos for some time. You know, your videos are very helpful. So thank you so much, brother. Uh, but he asked me if I could put up some basics like what to follow you know these are like very basic uh, you know topics but uh, there are a lot of people who come into the game new so we'll be doing that video for you okay but today first episode we're gonna do uh, from a house of Givenchy and this fragrance as you can see I have put up a title uh, which is gonna catch your attention when you hear the number $500 50 million dollars you know like Austin Powers uh, the villain would say but uh, this fragrance is actually currently going for $499 at Amazon, okay? And then we will talk about it, why is it so, and why Givenchy fragrance is costing that much, and if it's worth it, we'll look at it, okay? So the fragrance we're going to be looking at today, I'm uh, sorry, I'm speaking a little bit slow because I actually have a very intense walk early morning, and uh, the thing is, like, the winter is gone, so now you have to struggle a little bit more to walk, but I decided to carry on anyway as much as I can cardio at least every day and then i had breakfast heavy breakfast so i'm a little bit slow but i walk back um, i still decide to do this video so fragrance we'll be looking at is Givenchy's play for men this is the fragrance it's going for as i mentioned 500 dollars 499 and it's sold out they had two so i don't know exactly how much <laughs> in every other place but in bangladesh if you actually look for some shop they still have it like somewhere you can say 80 dollars 85 dollars which is the price uh, at retail B back in the days when it came out i think retailers uh, were selling for 85 dollars but uh, discounters they were like 55 around 65 okay so i have a big bottle and i think i have a vintage bottle with that base uh, and i have reviewed before previously a couple of other fragrances from this line which was the Givenchy play intense uh, i think this fragrance is intense right yeah the intense version and uh, this one is the vintage with that you can see the base okay and also did I'm going to take a little bit of time, okay, so bear with me. Uh, Givenchy Play in the city. And I recently also got another discontinued, very hard to find nowadays, Givenchy Play Sport, which I'll review in next few days. Uh, there's one more, I think, Summer Crush or something, I forgot the name, uh, but that's the last one of this line, so that's the whole line. So Givenchy House, uh, first of all, doesn't get the love it deserves. There is this kind of like underground sort of love for this house people some of them they like know this house they use this house so some of you like you know you understand the house and you know it but those who are in market they actually shop for dior chanel armani versace bulgari perhaps but Givenchy, uh, i don't see many people looking for Givenchy fragrance okay so in that way it's kind of sad because they are as good as many other designer house okay one thing second thing is they have quite a few lines okay gentleman line they have this one the play line they also have very irresistible many other lines but this fragrance, particular one that we're going to discuss here, it's more of a discussion I want to do because I put such a title. Why this $500? So this is 100 ml. This is how it looks. Justin Timberlake was the face for it, I think. And they also have a female version, which I reviewed. And I want to review the whole line, basically. So it says Givenchy. Okay. Yeah, Givenchy. Base looks like that, the batch code. Uh, nothing much crazy going on here. But actually, the when it came out, it, was the, it had the... Uh, theme of mp3 player music was very big at the time you know the records cds you know mp3 players so it was very ha happening with the teenage guys so uh, this bottle actually this fragrance got a lot of love and welcome when it came out this is how the bottle looks just like the play intense but uh, this is see-through at the side it got this rubbery feel but i think it's all just painted all glass okay and the cap is plastic base has that uh, kind of like this thing also, you'll see body kuros, kuros, like I think body kuros in YSL, they also had this kind of a base. But the new ones or the later ones, I don't know if they had this, but this is a very nice touch. Nowadays, it won't look very fancy because we have so many more bottles, but the bottle is really nice. It has this kind of like this button sort of thing. So people are very mesmerized at that time. So when you take out the cap, it has this kind of a unique rubbery sort of a sprayer. At times, I notice it gets sometimes like... Uh, a little bit ruined rubber sometimes get ruined and it gets kind of like sticky okay so that's not nice but this one is still fine okay so I'll show you the sprayer on my i'll show you on my skin i'm wearing this on my right hand i'll show you the sprayer as you can tell the distribution is just great and i just love doing these reviews not latest fragrance reviews something from the past so first of all uh let's tackle the price tag 499 dollars okay that's 500 dollars of your hard-earned money 
<laughs> that if you translate, it actually costs a lot more than Creed's Aventus. And you'll ask yourself why this fragrance is costing so much. The reason being, this is super rare now. It's discounted, it's gone. Uh, if you talk about American market, I think European market, nobody can find it. I saw F Fragrantica, many people are crying over this. I miss it, I cherish it so much, so many memories. Can someone please tell me where I can find this at a decent price? You cannot find it anywhere in decent price unless someone decides to let go of it, okay? So that sentiment, you know, when the sellers saw the sentiment of people and let's say fragrance like La Nuit de Long Vintage Batch or something like Midnight in Paris, fragrances were not worth two, three hundred dollars like back in the days. But then when people saw like there's a demand and short of supply, so some people cash in. So that's the whole reason behind the price tag, I believe. And then it became scarce, you know, like uh, you cannot find it anymore. So two reasons, sentiment and then lack of supply. But is this worth that $500? Absolutely not. That's just crazy. Uh, no fragrance is worth $500. This fragrance, if you find it somewhere like $65, okay? And if you can find anywhere, I think $85 right now, since due to its unavailability, would be the right price, okay, for 100 mil. So I have the dry down here and then the freshly sprayed. So the thing is, one of the best things I love about this perfume, of course, the bottle is so nice. And I like the opening of this fragrance. It's just so uplifting, okay? Good things, okay? Then we'll talk about some criticism. Good things, the opening is just damn gorgeous. I, I cannot say the curse word with the B, but it's so damn gorgeous, you know? Uh, it's just so pleasant. A lot of citruses, light, kind of like sweet. Uh, it will remind you something like, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Polo Red Line with a lot more citrus because Polo Red, which I have here, as you can see there, Polo Red Line has these berries, red berries, citruses, oranges, and then coffee. This one has some of the coffee notes, but it's not very prominent. It it pops up, but it's not very coffee dominant fragrance. It's kind of like a sweet, uh, think of nowadays, Salvatore Ferragamo, Vumo, you know, Polo Red, this kind of like... Uh, fragrances sweet uh, tangy citruses so got this mandarin orange or i don't know what orange is there there's this kind of like a nice orange note which is very very evident here very nice citruses lemon candied and it's just pleasant if someone smells this in the first opening hour they'll really like it you know because it will project this fragrance does project for about one hour then comes very close to skin so the opening i'll give it a 10 out of 10 for the opening that's what i think many people miss this this one okay the smell of the opening then, second best thing, I think this fragrance is kind of like the safe perfumes that you wear and hardly any thoughts behind it. You know, like you don't have to worry about, oh, someone's going to complain about my Amen. You know, Thierry Migler Amen also is coffee-based, but a lot more, you know, complex, a lot more daring. This one doesn't have that vibe. So you could buy this, you know, safe fragrance like, like Versace Purum, this one, Aqua Di Gio's, you know, and Bulgari Aqua, you know, this kind of fragrance you just put on a summer's day, you smell nice. Okay, so that's the second best thing. Third thing is, this fragrance is pleasant all the way through. It has a little bit of coffee, a little bit of teak wood, I think, some woody aspect, some florals, I believe, a little bit of florals, and then the gourmandish sweet touch. Not a very complex fragrance, but very comforting, okay? You can wear this still in your office setup, gym, home, um, for dates in a nice little, you know, like a place where they sell pastries, coffee, uh, perfect. If you go to Starbucks, you can wear this on a summer's day. It's just uplifting, okay? So now, Talking about the performance versatility, this fragrance will smell like zero, you know, in winter time. This is good for summer, even the play one, the sport one, which I'll review, it's also for summer, but you can use it during the springtime. So it gives that sort of like a mild, sweet, mild, fresh citrus. So how about the performance, you know? Uh, there's some sort of bug. <laughs> Sorry. So the performance on this, it's kind of like middle of the road. Okay, for me, on me at least, I get three and half hours okay after that it's very very close to skin i don't know if people are smelling it around me but i definitely cannot tell you that is projecting so much so if you want a little bit darker projection you know you can offer the this uh, intense version but that's actually for winter this fragrance it's actually built for summer so it, the projection is more longevity is kind of on the moderate side but i read all the comments as i told you on fragrantica people read uh, wrote some guys wrote I don't know what's wrong with people. I can smell it like 8-10 hours. This is the one side. Other side, people say, I can not smell it. But I believe people told me, around me, people can smell it. Okay. And the third party, uh, like the second party said, people can smell it from far, but people get nose blind to it. That's the second. Third group, they said, this is absolutely gone in one hour. Okay. So there is this mix of uh, emotions. So it gets confusing. But I'll tell you, on me, uh, on a mild, a warmer day, it just lasts on the shirt about three and a half hours. That's about it. Okay. So 
those are some negatives so the biggest negative is the price point has escalated very quickly <laughs> uh, but uh, should you be looking at it for even emotional purpose no some people suggested let me tell you what's good about fraccom they said you can use not exactly same but you can use empori armani's this is called diamonds which i luckily have this fragrance is similar ballpark to that but not exactly same that one is a mild sweet fresh kind of fragrance stays close nice exact same characteristic the other fragrance people suggested this is actually pretty good deal this is mandarina dark black i think this is extreme or intense i forgot the name i think this is the mandarina dark black just check out my review on this one this fragrance is sweeter compared to givenchy it has different character you know it's it's kind of like the same vibe it got some freshness it got that mandarin orange definitely big and it's kind of like a sweet sweeter you know uh, darker but not as dark as the intense so this one you can also look for if you actually miss the smell of it but the sad fact is with the note i will finish it the fragrance that you actually used you know remember that when you're young in your school time you used it the memory is that fragrance created no other fragrance can bring back that memory which this one did the exact one so the value of sentiment emotions it's immortal you know that one is untouchable unparalleled the fragrance feel that you got from this you only you'll only get from this let's say you loved clinic happy for men didn't last as much before but the smell you know the memories that you have even the theory mugler ultra this cannot bring it back you see what i mean so the value of sentiment it feels good holding a 500 dollar bottle in my hand but apart from that you know i got it because i want to complete the line so i'm very happy i have the four and this is definitely one of the more pleasant fragrances but i'll rate this fragrance as 7 out of 10 for what it is you know it's a not out called a masterpiece or anything but the whole justin timber lake music mp3 player it's an iconic bottle and now it's picking up 500 dollars all more part to givenchy but uh, take a look at it if you find it somewhere like let's say a shop they don't know what they are selling 65 dollars 55 dollars pick it up you know it's absolutely a nice experience it's just a nice experience you know it's like a nice designer perfume check it out givenchy's play uh, is definitely not worth the 500 dollars but it is uh, when you think about it yes score 500 dollars under my belt have a nice day thanks for watching i'll move on to the second review take care